What's up, guys? Today, I have a Stasis Warlock build that uses Aegis Scepter to dish out some insane amounts of damage to champions and bosses, all while having some of the best ad clear in the game. And you'll have a permanent damage buff from high energy fire because you will always be charged with light. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to see more build videos, especially when Lightfall drops, when we'll have a ton of new mods to craft the perfect build. Let's get right into today's build, starting with the subclass screen. So obviously we are on the stasis subclass. Grenade of choice here is the cold snap, which has the highest freeze potential. So we can spawn as many stasis shards as possible. To spawn stasis shards, we're going to be using glacial harvest. And then you'll want ice flare bolts so that after you've shattered a target, a nearby one will also be frozen. This helps the build get some crazy ad clear. The fragments. So we're going to want whisper of chains after you've frozen a target standing near them. We'll give you that damage resistance, which is perfect for the higher level activities to keep you alive. Whisper of conduction. So we don't have to go chasing after those shards. They'll just come straight to us. Whisper of bonds to help charge our super even faster. And when you're using Aegis reload ability, it helps it go for longer so you can get the most out of it. And finally, Whisper of Fissures, which increases the size and damage of a shatter effect, which gives you even more ad clear. So exotic of choice. You can use two exotics for this build. I prefer the Aeon Soul just because I take it into endgame a lot and keeping my team topped up with heavy ammo helps with melting those higher health enemies. But you can also use the Osmiomancy Gloves, which gives you an extra cold snap grenade and you'll be able to spam your grenades furthering your ad clear capability. All right, now let's take a look at the mods you'll want to be running with this build. So first you'll want elemental shards. So the stasis shards do count as elemental wells. And to pair with that, you're going to want elemental charge so that we can get charged with light off of these shards. High energy fire, extra damage for all of our weapons, plus killing an enemy with the shatter effect from a frozen target does not consume a stack of charge with light. Meaning you can have this buff almost 100% of the time, giving you that extra damage. Font of Might to stack on top of high energy fire for your stasis weapons. If you decide to carry a stasis heavy, like Reed's Regret or Bump in the Night, you'll have a nice chunk of extra damage for both your Aegis Scepter and your heavy weapon. And Font of Wisdom to charge your super ability as fast as possible to properly utilize Aegis special ability. Aegis special ability will deal insane amounts of damage to any boss or champion that can be frozen. You can melt through a barrier champion without letting him put up his shield and do insane raid boss DPS by using up a clip of Aegis and then swapping to your heavy weapon. This is easily achievable because trace rifles have a brilliant ammo economy and you'll be able to deal much more DPS more consistently than other fire team members who are only using heavy weapons for their DPS phases. And that's all for the build. Give it a try and let me know what you think. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this video helpful and subscribe so you don't miss upcoming build guides and more. Until next time, happy grinding, Guardian.